Puddles in the morning, puddles in the evening, puddles in the afternoon. Well, I'm a puddle boy and she's a puddle girl. The Puddles Podcast is starting real soon. Welcome to Puddles. It's your host, Andrew Collin, joined by my co-host, Brenna LaRock. <laughs> Here wonder, we are. I wonder if people hate that. Sometimes I think we should start it real cool, <laughs> where we're just like, so oh. like the podcast just starts like, um, yeah, so I went and got groceries, and then I went, yeah, I wasn't going to get cheese, and then I got cheese, and whatever, I picked up some barbecue ribs, and are we starting? Like opening with a bit? No, no, just like opening with just talking. Mm. Like a w- fake out? Without it being a bit. Just it being right. straight up, just like very natural. Okay. You hear a lot of podcasts like that where they're talking off camera like, oh, yeah, and then, you know, me and my wife went down. Oh, we're oh, starting? Yeah, 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 yeah. I hear we're you. starting? I hear you. So we are starting. Uh, yeah, we have a very formal start. We're like, we're clapping. We know exactly when to start. So let us know if you guys like the intro. Yeah. We can always come up with something more fun. I mean, so um, I think we're just going to talk about it right away. Uh, There's been a lot of comments, a lot of like back and forth. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are angry. A lot of some people are happy. A lot of DMs. Uh, Yeah. Melanie's laugh. (laughs) What's up, fuckers? (laughs) (laughs) Stop. (laughs) We can laugh, you can't. <laughs> it is interesting when you guys are so mad at someone's joy. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> now I can hear it more. Before, dude, before I was like, I used oh to love God. her laugh, and then I read three <laughs> comments and I want to chop her head off. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Welcome to my life. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if you could do anything about it. Can you change your laugh halfway through life? You can. It's like you can change your sneeze. Like there's a there's a default sneeze. There's a default laugh. But like you can change it because I have a default laugh and it's so bad. But it's it's not default. It's more like a true laugh, you know, mm-hmm. like a like if I'm I got to get it out of my body. Yeah, you get you go like <laughs> ha 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 ha. No, it's, <laughs> no, it's like. It's wild. I, my cackle. Yeah, I have a laugh that's like more fake, I guess, where it's like it's, it feels more forced and I sound like uh, <laughs> that dog. <laughs> yeah, your laugh is like a wheeze. Yeah. You wheeze laugh, but I feel like you fake I have, laugh like, a sleep lot. sleep apnea laugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I'm dying. Last yeah. night your snores were in my dream. Yeah? Did yeah. you hit me again? Yeah. Multiple times I had to. I don't know, man. I don't know if that helps anyone. It helps me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I try to, you know, we got a new bed. We're in our new apartment. We're in a tiny apartment. Very tiny house. We're in the bed right now on YouTube. This is our new studio for now, for maybe ever. <laughs> um, yeah, and we have a new mattress that's very hard. Oh, my God. It's so firm. No squeaking is going to be happening. Yeah. We the, had a whole mattress thing, actually. The drama of getting a mattress. First, we order something off of Amazon. It doesn't come in time. Oh, my God. I don't even know if I like where to start with this story, to be honest. What do you mean? I'm just like, it's just a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? I'm so sick of thinking about mattresses. Yeah, I don't want to. We don't have to talk about the mattress. Okay. Essentially, we ordered a mattress off of Amazon. It came... One came three days late, and then we ordered a different one. We had to cancel that one. We live in an apartment that's We went a mattress three-fourth. shopping, which mattresses are $5,000 now. Don't know if anybody's aware. Yeah, they have you lay on every single mattress. I'm just thinking I'm going to get bed bugs or give it bed bugs <laughs> the whole time. I think about, uh, like, they're like, no, lay on it. Lay and they go, oh, it's five. I go, 500? 5,000. I'm like, does this thing blow me? <laughs> yeah, and they know it's too much because they say five. And they Even hide it. Even they know it's too much. And yeah. they hide it. They flip yeah. the card. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so we went, we tried to get a mattress same day. This is why Amazon is 
killing small business because small businesses still charge forty five thousand dollars for a Tempur Pedic. That uh, so we went on Amazon. We got one for fucking three hundred dollars. It's great. It's firm. But the problem is we live in an apartment that's three fourths. We don't have a real address and we don't have a real door. Yeah, Our, it's a side door of a house. Through a gate. Through a gate. <laughs> it's like a maze. <laughs> that's locked from the inside. You have to reach around and unlock it. Like Yeah. Our instructions are like uh <laughs> you gotta crawl through a tunnel, <laughs> knock three times, freaking fart. Yeah. <laughs> Have a uh, stop for an orange juice, make a right, and then you'll see our pro- And we have to write all that in the Amazon. Mm-hmm. The problem is, too, is that no one, I don't even know if they ever read the instructions, you know? And so we wrote a sign. We made a real sign on the gate. Come this way. First yeah. little door on the right. Attention, Amazon. And then I intercepted on Amazon. You can see how many stops away they are. So I wrote a sign and I still intercepted the delivery. And I met and, you know, he brought it in. And he was like, I love seeing signs like this. It just makes me feel like I'm somebody. And I was like, you are somebody. We appreciate you. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, it was so sad. <laughs> He's like. I was like, this 19-year-old kid is already down on life, which I was like, I get it, dude. He's never got a birthday card in his life. That's what no. that tells me. Yeah. Like, there's never been anyone that ever handwritten something. People don't handwrite things anymore. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's so rare. Yeah. To get some handwritten, yeah. you know, you get it from your mom with like $20 in it. And then, you know, you're special, which is very nice. And it does mean more when you see the penmanship. It I means think. so much. I keep all of my cards. I have a box of cards from people. First of all, can we talk about your memory box? So <laughs> we moved and granted, I should be doing better in life. So Brenna has her own room for her memories. <laughs> but... She has a memory box that's about 85 pounds. We don't really know what's in it. I've never really asked her. I don't know. Maybe it's just her ex-boyfriend's hair. There's some ex-boyfriend stuff in there. That is horrible. <laughs> no. That's worse than keeping like an old Instagram photo up. The No, because the ex-boyfriend things, they're not from every ex-boyfriend. There's one from... Oh, that's better. No, <laughs> if I explain it, it's actually sweet. So there's one from like... Uh, the, I dated like an, a foreign exchange student in 10th grade and he made a scrapbook of like all of our like little memories of the year he was there and like he was a sweet boy and like I was really young and it was just like very innocent and I was like I can't let go like that's what somebody made me a scrapbook like of like memories of when I was 16 like that's really sweet and then the second one is like second I dated this guy in Czech Republic when I when I lived there who was Sorry, like Sorry I'm not European. He was like a graffiti like he a graffiti artist and he would make me this like graffiti art and so it's like somebody made me art and he's he died. So now I'm like I can't like he you know yeah, I didn't know you dated him. Yeah. You just said he was your friend. Oh well, he I dated him <laughs> <laughs> for a whole year. I took his virginity in a bathroom, and like life. a bar bathroom, and I had no idea. <laughs> you killed him. You you banged him to death. You're <laughs> like a you're like a black widow. <laughs> Wait, did anybody you this ever? This is why we don't have sex that much because <laughs> I think I'll be dead in three days. I am sorry about your ex, though. But at least we have his memories. Well, of yeah, he, up her he, he meant a lot to me. So no, it yeah, is. it's yes. like somebody who's like there for you when you're like living abroad at sixteen and like. You know, it's like to me, like those two people are like more than like they were like, it's like a friend when you're that young, like that you spent a lot of time with and and, and had sex with. But I don't think about the sex. Like, I'm not thinking about the sex I had at 16. (laughs) I'd rather you think about the sex than the memories. (laughs) Uh, You know what? I just think about the emotional connection we had. (laughs) That's what I think about. And he died, too. So he's like forever, like so much cooler. Like, unless I die soon, like. (laughs) I can't compete. Do you unfollow? Wait, sorry, go ahead. There's something really funny, too, about being jealous <laughs> of, a, of a guy that, that's also dead because he's in your memory box, which you never open. <laughs> Why do we hold on to these things? You know, it's. Uh, uh, yeah, I get it, though. I mean, yeah. yeah, I used to hold on. We had uh, me and my older brother. We traveled through Europe. We backpacked and we had 
photos made remember disposable cameras where you give it to walgreens and then Mm -hmm. you pick it up like three months later and you're like oh i went here you know but they look cooler they all look like a cool like filter yeah dude polaroid filter like i i have a polaroid camera and those are my best photos oh this wasn't polaroid though this was just disposable but yeah but still Oh, like same vibe though same vibe it's like writing penmanship it's like tangible you can feel it it means more Oh, man, we had some great photos. Did I ever tell you that we were on a, uh, when we were in the Greek islands, that we went on, my grandpa died, my grandpa Henry. When you were away? Yeah, which was tough because we couldn't get back. I mean, we could get back. (laughs) (laughs) But you didn't want to go through the trouble. This sounds bad. (laughs) No, no. If he died of old age. Okay, first of all, we were, (laughs) this sounds like the most privileged I couldn't get to a funeral story, but we were in the yeah, Greek islands you guys. in Eos. And if we were to get back to, we wouldn't have made it to the funeral. Just. So you would have been there after. Maybe we would have got there, but. <laughs> but you would have been like rolling in in your plane and stuff. We had a booze cruise to get to. Oh my God. <laughs> you know? You're, but I think that your grandpa would have want you that's to what we, do. <laughs> that's <laughs> what we said. I really think that. That's what we said. He doesn't want you to travel all the way back for his funeral. He said, have a great time on your booze cruise. Live your life because I can't anymore. He's like, at each stop, take a shot for (laughs) me. Yeah. How many shots did you drink? And you guys were like, for for Grandpa Marvin. (laughs) It was Grandpa Henry. Oh, for Grandpa Henry. 73. (laughs) One for each year. We almost. Oh, he died died. pretty young. (laughs) Actually, I don't know. (laughs) was like we i'm concerned no he's proud well first of all your last boyfriend died at 17 (laughs) okay don't fucking i'm killing it (laughs) i'm killing it (laughs) i you know i like a guy who's close to death i do like a guy no matter the age yeah so grandpa henry died and then we went out and uh we celebrated his life by drinking shots on a booze cruise and we wore we knew one of the parties had a uh, baby pool, and so we wore snorkel gear because we just wanted attention from girls. And it's like such a—it's called peacocking, you know, when you overdo it and you're just a complete dickhead. So we wore snorkel gear and uh, swimmies for for the party. So like we're literally wearing swimmies and oh, like goggles on the, on the on the arms. Me and my older brother, and you're like, this one didn't work. Dude, it is so easy to get pussy if you decide to look like a dickhead. Really? Yeah. In a certain way. But so then we go. In Greece? <laughs> yeah. The but girls, it, the Greek girls were like, that's my none man. None of them are Greek. They're all fucking Australian and like hammered the gr- <laughs> dumb Americans on fucking backpacking. <sighs> so we're backpacking and we, uh, oh no. So we're on the booze cruise for my grandpa Henry. And uh, (laughs) 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 for Grandpa Henry, and uh, we see um, we see uh, the baby pool, (laughs) and then we see Pacey from Hard to Spot. What's that uh, show where it was with Dawson's Dawson's Creek (laughs) with Dawson, (laughs) and Pacey was there at the bar drinking. And he was talking to two girls, two like pretty girls. And um, we're like, dude, that's fucking pace. We're fucking hammered, you know, for grandpa. (laughs) And uh, there's the baby pool. And we're like, yo, we're going to jump in. How deep is this baby pool? Inches. Like, (laughs) it's not diveable. (laughs) Like, we shouldn't have done this. I mean, but we're like, yo, we want the attention. We want to steal the girls from Pacey. Yeah. And um, me and Dan, my older brother. We are like, all right, we'll jump on three. And he thought it was like one, two, three, go. And I went on three. And I jumped in the baby pool before him. And then he landed. I had the goggles on. He landed on my face. And I got up and there was so much pressure. And I'm (gasps) gushing blood. Uh, uh, (laughs) It looks like a shark uh, fucking bit me. (laughs) Oh, my God. And... I'm not lying. The girl that was talking to Pacey, who's a superstar, this is his, he's huge, sees me gushing blood in swimmies and comes over and rescues me and gets me paper towels. 
Yeah, because you're a baby. You need help. Like a little boy. Yeah. And then uh, we hooked up. Shut up. I hate when he has that <laughs> smile on his face. It's like when he he's like, yeah, some girl told me I look like Dave Matthews. He gives this little this <laughs> grin. And I'm like, don't little chuckle face. Don't think about having sex with somebody. I else. wasn't. We didn't fuck. Her. I didn't fuck her. If that makes you feel better. What did you what is everybody has a different actually uh, definition of hookup. So what's hookup to you? Uh, I didn't kill her afterwards. <laughs> OK. <laughs> so we're hooking up. So no, I hooked up. I think I just I might have just I think I just fingered, fingered her, her in like a teepee. <laughs> <laughs> what's your definition of hookup, Melanie? <laughs> <laughs> she had a really hairy bush. Oh, really? She's from... Um, Greece? No. <laughs> <laughs> Greasy? I can imagine Greek Greece, Greek women she's having from, bush. She's from England. Bushies. Bushes. Like Liverpool or something. Something like Leeds, it was called. I remember. Where is that? Somewhere in England. And yeah. Big old bush. And it was like 140 degrees. <gasps> and I was like, man, this is European. This was, she, is, was, this her, is. was her bikini line trimmed? Or was it just... I don't even know if she wore a bikini. I think it was just her pussy hair. My God. And she was good to go. Wow. People were like, wow, we're in a five piece down there. I saw my aunt's bush one time. <laughs> you said that like you went to Vietnam. Dude, it's the biggest bush I've ever seen. Where were you? She was showering. Why were you? You just walked in on accident? Yeah. Just was in there. Now, when you saw the bush, did you give it a like it's hard? Sometimes you'll see it. You'll get shocked like a car accident. I just was younger and I was like, wow, that's what a like grown up vagina looks like. <laughs> oh, how old were you? I was probably like, I don't know, maybe like 12 or 13. I don't even know. I was just like, wow, that's I was definitely before I had I had pubic hair. So I was just like, wow, I that's what's going to happen. Did it make you want to get pubes or never? I think it made me want to always never have pubes. <laughs> I can't even grow out my hair enough to get a Brazilian because I'm like, I just don't like having pubic hair. Did you, did you, how quickly did you grow your pubes and get rid of them? Dude, I was shaving the day I came out shaving. (laughs) (laughs) I was like, I'll never look like my aunt. (laughs) Yeah. I used to like use before my mom or whoever taught me how to shave. I used to use my sister's razor in the shower one time I took her razor because I had a unibrow and like went straight <laughs> down my eyebrows. <laughs> I looked fucking insane. Did your aunt have a unibrow? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it was my eyebrows. My whole like all my teenage years were really bad. Damn. Mm-hmm. Well, now I don't. Need, I like won't Frida even get them Kahlo. waxed now. Huh? You probably look like Frida Cow. Frida Kahlo. I no. I mean, like I was over plucking. Oh, got and like you. I had like a uh, dental floss. <laughs> like my brother was like, "You, your eyebrows look like the golden arches. Like if you separate them, that's how <laughs> bad they were." Oh man. Yeah, they were so bad. Now they're good. But. Yeah, because you don't have that wide of eyes. Some girls they'll wax their eyebrow and you'll look and you'll be like, "Oh, like." Because they go too far in, dude. Yeah. It's like that girl in the Bachelor, the recent one. I thought her eyebrows were. It's like a f- almost like. Maybe like four inches in between their face. I'll have to look because I don't know what you're talking about. But wait. Oh, pubes? No. Your aunt? I don't know. Yeah, I've seen some bushes back in the day. There, you know, you go wait, to I- you go to the locker room, and old men just fucking they'll whip their dick out right in your like literally like. It's a lot. The older you get, the more free you are to like get. It's weird because they didn't, no one could be gay openly, but then you go into a locker room and these old men, they take their dick out like two inches from your face and their pubes are longer than their penis. And I just remember seeing that. That's disgusting. Being like one day I'll get there. That's why nobody, no girl, <laughs> you're there. <laughs> you made it. Rude. Okay, wait. Rude. Have you noticed that as, was rude. <laughs> as somebody who's in their fourth generation of life, or decade, not generation. <laughs> what am I? A fucking. What As, am I from the, the the? What am I? Egyptian. Have you noticed? What am I? A pyramid. Have you noticed that like women? 
<laughs> that women have less and less hair as the years have gone by like when you hook up with them is that a thing i remember in 1514 ad <laughs> 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 when i first saw cleopatra's pussy <laughs> i was like whoa that barrier didn't <laughs> Fast forward four generations. And yeah, you're way less hairy than Cleopatra. Dude, Andrew, this is like one of the best compliments he ever gave me. He's like, you're like a dolphin. You have no hair. And I was like, that is so nice of you. Thank you. That's yeah. all I ever wanted to hear. <laughs> Wait, but seriously. Uh, Yeah, dude, for sure. Like, I don't know. I think pub- pubic hair came back a little bit um, about four or five years ago. New York City, I think girls thought it was like cool to wear like mom jeans and then have your bush and like not shave their out. armpits. Yeah, just like equality equals hair <laughs> kind of thing. I think it's more like an empowerment thing, but yeah, yeah, empowerment. Yeah, but guys are trimming their pubes. I trim my pubes once. Are they? <laughs> they <laughs> I trim them up only to be yelled at, so I can't win. Wait, what? <laughs> No, because you don't clean up after yourself. You can trim them in the shower and let them go down the drain. You know how how long that would take me? And also, we because were... you only do it like once <laughs> is... in a blue moon. This house once was a decade. built in 1918. You think it could handle my bush? Oh my my fucking this house would blow up. Water would shoot out of the roof. I'm trying to get rid of my pubes. Anyhow. You're you're staticky. Yeah, I just got staticky. That's better? Maybe? Yeah, that's better. Anyhow. I'm going to have an asthma attack keeping in all my laughs. laughs. Yeah, Melanie, by the way, because you guys are such monsters, has been laughing and putting the mic up her asshole so you can't hear it. Dude, she's mastered the silent laugh. But it's kind of weird, though, read. because... We're watching her laugh, and I think we're giving it the time of a laugh, but you don't hear a laugh, which now is weird. Melanie has ruined this podcast through her joy, and we're not happy about it. We were thinking about firing her, but then we were like... Or Dude, maybe- every week, Andrew's like, we were going to maybe fire her. She's probably actually really scared we're going to fire. She's going to quit. She's going to get a better. She's in LA. That's so true. All the time we're like, Melanie's going to be just fine. She'll, Andrew goes, she'll probably stay with us like as a charity case. Kind of <laughs> yeah, she'll be running like Jimmy Kimmel. Yeah, I thought Andrew was going to be like making me this is famous, but I'm making Andrew famous. Oh, I can't wait. Please do. Please. Yeah, you got to drop his name. Yeah, please drop my name. They're gonna be like, Man. dude, isn't it so funny if Melanie is the one who gets you on like Kimmel? <laughs> I would, I would love it. I have a connection. You all say right, that all the go. time. <laughs> I love that. Well, she's Jewish, so we have, <laughs> she probably LA, does. In yeah. LA, we all are like three cousins away yeah. from yeah. being famous, but no one wants to help us. No, nobody nope. wants to help anybody in this town. Yeah, but anyhow. Um, yeah, I guess we're done with this section. <laughs> that was fun. That was fun. It's way more laid back when we're in Oh, bed. my God. It's the best. I love laying down. Yeah. All right. All right. Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> or should we be cool and be like, yeah, I was just taking a shit. Anyways, <laughs> so what's up with Snooze? So Snooze. Haley Bieber's older sister, Elena Baldwin, has been arrested for getting into a tampon tussle. Elena was booked on charges of assault, battery, and criminal trespassing for allegedly throwing a used tampon at a bartender, according to a police report. (laughs) Security footage showed Aliyah forcing her way into a locked employee bathroom, telling the bartender she needed to change her tampon. A few minutes later, when the bartender entered the bathroom, Elena removed her tampon and threw it at the woman. Security then removed her from the club as she ripped hair from one of the bouncer's heads and kicked the other on the balls. She later claimed she was acting in self-defense. Whoa. I mean, this just sounds like a Jason Bourne movie. <laughs> that, <it does. laughs> Can you imagine if that was the fight scene in Jason Bourne? That'd be great. I yeah, feel like it's he fights one a woman thing. and she throws a tampon in his face, <laughs> kicks him in the balls. Hell yeah. Fucking, Dang, uh, it's one thing to throw a tampon at a man, but at another woman, I just feel like that's so fucked. That's 
fuck. Yeah. Did like, she pull the tampy from her? Yeah. Whoa, that's a good move. I know. <laughs> I love that Andrew calls tampons tampies. He's always like, you got to get your tampies. Did you buy some tampies? Yeah, I make it. <laughs> he makes it as cute as possible. Ow! <laughs> Ow, Mango! Sorry. Sorry, Mango scratched her feet. We're trying here, folks. We have a tiny home. We don't have anywhere to put Mango <laughs> anymore. It's either here or the bathroom. Um, so wait, so she was trying. I don't know why she got angry because she because the woman barged in on her changing her tampon. Was she in there too long? It doesn't. I think she was just like overly drunk and like. Like, I need to go to the bathroom. Yeah, and yeah. they maybe wouldn't let her in, so she said, I have to change my tampon. Yeah. This is what happens when one family member, I get it, because my older brother's so rich, and I would throw a tampon at someone. I'm so mad about it. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> You'd pull a tampon out I, of your vagina. I'd pull you know? a tampon out of my ass that's helping my hemorrhoids. You know, because I actually didn't even know Haley Bieber had a sibling. Until, until the, now. Until yeah. this. So this really put her on the map. It's like Jackson Mahomes with Patrick Mahomes' brother, who, like, <laughs> does horrible shit. Wait, I want to look her up. What's her name? Tampy. Aliyah Al- Baldwin. I mean. L-A-I-I. It's got to suck, too. I mean. You know, your other sister has the Bieber name and then your name is just connected to your dad that was in Biodome 45 years ago and now is like a Christian freak. And the Flintstones. Okay. Well, never mind. I take it all back. <laughs> they didn't even have tampons back then. I was. Uh, that's when I was alive four generations ago Why? with the Flintstones. <laughs> yeah. Haley Bieber's prettier, too. Let me see her. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's like, a, no yeah, question. She has a bigger jaw. Look at this photo. Yeah, that's a girl that would throw a tampon. Oh, I get it. Yeah. Yeah. Bummer. Well, you know what? Maybe she'll meet a R and B star. Whoa. Dude, her fucking mugshot. <laughs> so crazy. I would She's say she 31 had blood. and she did that. What? That's yeah. too old. You're too old. This just tells me that uh Haley Bieber needs to be more generous with the fame and give her some fame. I could, yeah. Yeah, it's like crazy. Anyhow, well, next, next, uh, next topic. Good one, though, Mel. Yeah. Better, better than, than, <laughs> dude, someone wrote us a message <laughs> recently. I responded. Laughing really hard about the first news we ever did was Melanie talking about the Connecticut basketball team, <laughs> women's basketball team. <laughs> Anyhow, go ahead. Oh, man. What's the next one? <laughs> Sorry, the silent laugh. We were just like, hey. Okay. Trying to catch my breath before I could talk. Yeah, Melanie was laughing again. Through a, <laughs> yeah, fuck me. Through a muzzle. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the steps you have to go through to get into our house. You got to put a muzzle on. You got to put a muzzle on. And by everyone, just Melanie, because no one will ever come here because we don't have room for three. <laughs> She's the only person that I feel comfortable letting in here. <laughs> okay, what's so, the next story? Asia's richest man, Mukesh Ambani, threw his son a lavish three-day pre-wedding bash in his in India this past weekend. Some of the biggest players from Wall Street, Silicon Valley, and the entertainment industry are on the guest list, including Rihanna, who performed a 19-song set. Besides the Super Bowl, Rihanna has not done a real show in eight years. Wow. Her real fans must be so fucking mad. So pissed off. Wow. Also, they paid her $6 million. Everyone's at this thing. It's all over TikTok. I don't know who these freaking... Is it working? Yeah. Uh, I don't know who this like... It's like the richest like Indian family. They're worth like $120 billion. If you have a lot of money, like that kind of money, people will th- pretend that they like you so bad. And like, dude, if you just watch this, it's like... It's it, his son is like nothing special at all. You know, I don't know. It's just it, I don't know why it makes me so angry watching these because everyone's being fake. Everyone's being fake at this thing. His son actually like he talks and like if you're really rich and you say anything that's somewhat humble, people are like, man, he freaking he's worth 120 billion, but he's just a regular guy. Like, and then he drives <laughs> off in like a fucking flying airplane and they're like man he's just like us man a flying airplane <laughs> yeah yeah or a flying car <laughs> or a car that flies i don't know it's just 
It's all over your TikTok too. They feed the algorithm. That's how rich they are. Whoever is like, they probably paid to fucking put it all over TikTok. And uh, yeah, it's just um, yeah, everyone shows up. Bill Gates shows up, and you're just like, oh, these people are all in it for the fucking money. No one's in it for humanity. No one gives a fuck. Oh, you know what? That reminds me of a TikTok I saved to read. <laughs> <laughs> No, seriously. Did you just say that reminds you of a TikTok to read? This is... Okay, I'm going to read this to you guys. I wonder if future generations will look back in bewilderment that citizens allowed themselves to be taxed to build sports stadiums that billionaires then charged us to enter for the sake of rooting for millionaires to play children's games whose outcomes distract us from getting robbed by rich, rich people for things just like this. <laughs> what do you think about that it's kind of fucked right <laughs> what do you think about that i just was now like, you're just watching I just, tiktok i just was like <laughs> i just saw it and i was like true <laughs> damn it hit you huh it just hit me really hard <laughs> But anyways, I am always saying tax the rich. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> tax the fucking rich. Yeah. And then you throw a tampon, a bloody tampon at somebody. <laughs> yeah, it's just one of those things. That's it's something like, only I poor never people heard, say, by the way. No tax. one ever heard of this family, this Indian family, ever. And then, I'm not kidding, I, on my TikTok, there was 75 videos of this family. Really? Yeah. I don't know. I didn't hear anything about it. The dad is the 11th richest person in the world. Okay. Jesus. Well, I, why do we care? Why do we care about that? I mean, it's just a lot. Uh, okay, what's the next story? Next story. Um, so Brenna and I were texting last night <laughs> while she was waiting for her Thai food and saw a man wielding a baseball bat <laughs> outside of the apartment across the street, to which I told her, call the cops. <laughs> Now that's my kind of party. <laughs> you know what I mean? Fuck this Indian guy that has 114 billion. <laughs> I want to go to a guy wielding a bat for free. Dude. Down my street. And that's a party. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> and I was live texting Melanie. Live. <laughs> <laughs> live texting her. Brenna tells and me these stories where she like puts herself in harm's way and she's just like, and then I was like under his bat. And he was like almost hitting me. It was so funny. And then I was texting Melanie about it. Like today, <laughs> dude, I was behind the tree, like zooming in, taking a video of this man swinging the bat around, clinking it on the sidewalk. Andrew's gone for hours at the golf course, and I was like, of course, on the first <laughs> night I'm alone. Yeah, I paid that guy. <laughs> That's my kind of guy. I go, look, I need to keep this bitch in line. <laughs> <laughs> and then. And then three cop cars came. And uh -huh. I, <laughs> I sent them. Yep. I guess I go, look. And then we this saw is her him first this night morning. alone. I don't want to get her any ideas about having another guy come over. I'm going to fucking make sure she never leaves the tiny home. No, you said, oh, yeah. And then I was just hiding behind a tree and I was sending videos to Melanie. I go, that's the start of a horror movie. <laughs> When you when a guy sees a cute little girl <laughs> laughing at him, filming, <laughs> sending it to her friend, like what a fucking dumb bitch I this mean, guy is. I was just He sees you, he <laughs> clocks it. Six months later he goes, Remember when you were laughing at me? I know. We saw him this morning. I guess <laughs> <laughs> We did. He walked in front of the car. Yeah, I was just remarking on the fact too that it's just like how men are just they're they're so different like their testosterone makes them so just to, because he was out there for a good 10 minutes doing that yeah and in those 10 minutes the fact that he didn't get embarrassed he wasn't like okay maybe I, like i'm more calm now like <laughs> guys are just so crazy like, yeah around minute six you're like okay what am i doing yeah, like <laughs> you would think but he got he he got the cops called on him. There were three cop cars blocking the road. Like, are you not embarrassed? And yeah, and it was like a cheating situation, you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which made me actually feel like more safe thinking that he's just mad at one guy, not the world. You know what I mean? Yeah. But even though someone that's mad at one guy takes it out on the world, that does happen. But 
yeah, when I heard that, I was like, oh, this is like a domestic abuse affair kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So it had nothing to do with me. I don't think he's going to beat the shit out of me because he's mad at that guy for fucking his wife. But you never know. (laughs) Just don't fuck his wife. (laughs) I just, I won't fuck his wife. Thank you. (laughs) I swear to God. Not with my bush. She'd be like, I'd rather have the bat. (laughs) (laughs) She's like, you know what? Give me the bat. Oh, Oh, fuck. Um, All right. Is that it? That's all of them? That's all the snooze. All right. That's snooze for you. Whatever, man. It's cool. Whatever, dude. So we want to play a game? Yeah, Yeah, let's let's play play a game. game. Okay, so this game is, are you turned off yet? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to name biggest icks and turn offs. I like this. And you let me know if it's a turn off or not. Okay. Chasing a ping pong ball. (laughs) Oh, in beer pong or ping pong? Either. Depends how fast they run. Yeah, it de- it's there. It depends on how they do it, yeah. or her. But yeah, yeah, it's uh, yeah, definitely. I don't. Yeah, there's something about being like oh, oh, the ball, the ball, oh, oh, the ball's by your foot. Oh, don't step on the ball like that. Like that energy is just it drives my pussy up. It imagine, that. yeah, it's how you do. It. It's got to be your attitude about it. Yeah, you'll be like, yeah, whatever, dude. Just fucking throw me the ball, dude. I'm not running to get it. Anyhow, go ahead. Yeah, so yeah, that's a bit of a turn off. Mm-hmm. Singing the wrong lyrics to a song confidently. <laughs> um, <laughs> I've done this many times, <laughs> so it's still a turn off. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I've done this many times. Um, what do you think? I, I think it could be like a funny thing. You could turn it into like a laugh thing. I'm not turned off yet. I do hate the person who sings with no self-awareness mm-hmm. where they're like making the song about them. Like that video on TikTok of the Taylor Swift video, there was a 12 year old <laughs> screaming Taylor Swift lyrics. I think where, we talked about this last week. Oh, whoops. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I'm still upset. <laughs> yeah, I would be too. <laughs> Okay, um, so flip flops on men outside of the pool or beach. I, I fucking it's not a turn off to me. Yeah, because you do it. But I just admitted the other yeah. one's a turn off. I just feel like people, are, <sighs> girls are like, oh my god, I can see your toes. It's like we see your fucking toes all the time. I don't love it to be honest. If your feet look okay, then fine. But like guys have really hairy toes. But if you at least have like your toenails are not weirdly curved and like overgrown then that's better my egg more than that like it's in the same kind of wit like whatever air it's the same thing is when guys wear muscle tanks i it's the most disgusting thing ever to me when you can see their nipples when they like move a certain way oh side nip oh my god i hate muscle tanks i think they look they're so gross on, yeah. on any guy, on any guy. All right. Yeah. It's a clean. It's like I think it's like a. Uh, Ugh. I think it's part of it's. I think when you have the flip flops on, it's a hygiene thing. Like I think if you see that, you think the guy's dirty. You're like, I don't want those feet in my bed. No. I don't want those feet going down on me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Anyhow. Loud eaters. <sighs> <laughs> I what, are you, what are we just listing things i do <laughs> dude <laughs> andrew I'll has the, next the one. loudest mouth i get it from my dad dude, we have very wet mouths no, he you it's crazy how loud your mouth is like it's just he can't even help it it's the way that your mouth is structured i think <laughs> yeah god did not do a good job with this thing <laughs> dude it drives me nuts i i can't do it all right. Well, I guess that's a nick. All right. I'll never eat again. We'll only get smoothies. Even smoothies, I chew loud. Sometimes it's <laughs> fine, but I think Andrew really does think that he can like, he needs to like, to like taste things sometimes. No, you know what it is, honestly? And you eat fast, so I have to be like, hey, slow down. I had a fear of choking for a while. Oh. And I think I chew hard to make sure the food is swallowable. Mm-hmm. So I over chew. You do have te- little teeth too. So and I have little teeth. <laughs> I'm just gumming everything. I'm gumming hard things here. I don't know what you want from me. I'm trying. What the problem is too is like when I focus on it, I could hear my mouth work and I don't like that. No, because you know it's bad. Yeah. 
<laughs> I could hear the car start. Yeah, it's like grinding Sometimes gears. Sometimes I yeah. combat it though by also eating loudly because if I, it's like when you're crunching, eating something crunchy, you have to turn the music up so you can hear it better. You know, yeah. like I can't he tune you. I can tune you out with my own mouth. Well, yeah, your mouth <laughs> is the complete opposite of my mouth. It's loud in different ways. Your mouth. <laughs> You could break down boulders. <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? You yeah. have all teeth. Yeah. You know what you do that fucking turns me off? What? How you eat from a fork. Oh. You go, she goes teeth on the fork, not <laughs> like if I feed her no. something, she should just like use your lips. She goes, <laughs> <laughs> and you could hear the fucking teeth hitting the fork. It's like, dude, it is the sound. Honestly, that would end, it would end any war. <laughs> That's, dude, why do you go teeth the fork? Can't you feel it on the fork? I. Maybe your teeth are so big you don't feel. I can like scrape it off with my teeth. <laughs> but my teeth, no, but listen. Even the word scrape <laughs> for teeth. That noise is worse than my laugh. I don't know. Listen, That's this is my crazy. teeth. Let's not, listen, let's not this is it. my teeth. Isn't that crazy? This is my teeth. <laughs> no, because you can kind of like bring your teeth because my teeth are long over the fork without bringing your teeth to the f like touching it to the fork. Now, whoever taught you that or didn't teach you and you've changed. I've tried because you'll even do it without me feeding you. You'll just go like if you're eating something with a fork, I hear it just scrape. And I was like, man. We really are a disgusting couple. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's next? <laughs> Watching them trip or fall. <laughs> Dude, Dude. Brenna falls all the time, especially in this tiny home, which, again, my bad for not making more money. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for taking accountability <laughs> for my ex, or for your ex. <laughs> Wait, okay, I think it's funny. Like, I just think it's funny. I guess it does make you a little bitch, but... I don't mind a fall. I mind the cover up of a fall. <laughs> like if you fall and you go like you try to, you know, you do that like, right. like, like you didn't fall. Mm -hmm. That's the, so you have to like almost embrace it and then you're fine. I had something happen to me recently that was similar to a fall. That you know when you get the toilet paper on your foot when you walk out after you shit. No. <laughs> no. Oh, that's like a thing. Like sometimes, like people will walk out and they'll have toilet paper on the bottom of their shoe. Now it wasn't that, but it was. I was. I went boxing, and my wraps got stuck to my shoe. After I put them down, I started walking back, <laughs> and everyone pointed at me. And it was essentially everyone thought the toilet paper on the shoe. Oh, and the old me would be like, uh, you know, whatever. But I like. I I was like. <laughs> It's like I had shit on my foot or something like that. Like I, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear you. And I think I don't think that's icky. I think it's icky when you freaking fall and you like. You're like a dick if somebody points it out. You're like, yeah, dude, you fell. Yeah. It's like no, I didn't. <laughs> yeah. Fucking bitch. Anyhow. All right, two more. Having an Instagram account for their pet. Ew. Ick. I know, but we do post mango a lot. It's yeah, hard. But that's to... not a separate account. Yeah. Yeah. Ick. Ew. When you like fucking put like different kind of clothes on them, like Dave Portnoy has been doing this thing. He's from Barstool with Miss Peaches, and it's driving me crazy. I hate it. The Gucci raincoat, dude. I hate it. He, the whole thing I was telling Brenna is showing how much money he has and how he would treat an older woman <laughs> through this dog. And I think women love it so much because they're like, that could be me in a Gucci coat. That could be me getting fed lobster next to a pool in Miami. Like every one of the videos, he's showing how big his house is through his dog. Oh, yeah. And then he's like, oh, Miss Peaches. I hate his voice. It's the most disgusting thing. And he loves this like Dude, yeah. because people are talking about it. Right now we're talking about yeah. it. If, But if I was his ex, Solana, I'd be like, thank God that... I'm not with this guy anymore. If Dude, I saw how he was treating that dog, like it is such a ugh. play to get pussy. I see through all this stuff because working. I've been through like, you've done si it. Well, like <laughs> just like situations where it's like, yeah, I've gotten laid through whatever kind of celebrity this is. And I know when I've like posted 
oh, I'm in Denver next to this tree uh, eating. Like, oh, like that's a call to be like, hey, girls in Denver, I'm here. You know what I mean? Like, and this is way before we were together. This is just what I'm saying. <laughs> This is not. Don't be mad at me. <laughs> be, be still be mad at Miss Peaches. Yeah. Yeah. Be mad at Miss Peaches. <laughs> Dude, you think I'm just admitting the cheating right now? Are you crazy? Are you gonna talk? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't know. I'm kind of upset. <laughs> this is it. This I can't give my like point of view without being. Dude, we got a tiny home together. Have I I have a ring on your finger. Dude, every time I'm like any type of jealous, Andrew's like his thing used to be we have a cat together. Like he would be like, What what do you mean? You're sleeping in my bed. We have a cat together. And now it's you have a ring. Yeah. Like you just did it to shut me up. And the guy with the bat. <laughs> um yeah, so yeah, I think uh the Miss Peaches thing, I hope. Um people see through it like we do because it's not it is not from a good and then he'll do it for charity and then everyone goes well it's great never mind i'm an asshole you can't compete with that when someone does something for charity yeah you can because if they're advertising it then it's just for their brand (laughs) yeah that's all it is anybody who's like oh my god you guys need to go to this thing and you guys need shut up yeah, Shut the fuck up. I'll do charity if I want. I'm not going to like do it because you told me to. If anything, <laughs> I'm not going to do it because you told me. Yeah. I actually don't want to adopt that dog now. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What's next? All right. Last one. Wearing shoes without socks. Oh, sometimes oh. you got to do it. No, but like the ones that require socks. Yeah. Sometimes you got to do it. I get what you're saying. I think uh, I used to do this. A lot and get smelly, you get smelly feet. That's no good. Yeah, I mean, if it's like a regular thing, then that's disgusting. Like buy a pack of socks, but. Yeah, it usually, it it usually, it either says, A, I don't give a fuck about anybody else except for me because you smell like dog shit. Mm -hmm. Visually, I don't think it's bad. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't like when you can kind of like see the top of a foot in a sneaker. That's like a turn off. Yeah. It like looks I'm like weird. Ew. Yeah. Man, it's interesting. You guys hate seeing any kind of skin that isn't like regular skin. Well, male feet aren't like taken no. care of. Yeah. But like, even the top of the foot? In general. Just like why am I seeing all of your foot in a sneaker? I don't know. I think. It doesn't look proportional. This that, just tells you know? me why like. Like. When women want to get pedicures and stuff because they're like, oh, the guys like, yes, and you do it for yourself. But I feel like you're way more judgmental of these kind of things than men like men. No fucking way, dude. Guys, when my toes, I haven't had a pedicure in like three months. And Andrew literally looked at my feet a few weeks ago. What did I do? Made a face. And I go, what? I don't think yeah, I did Yeah, you that. did because you noticed my toenails. Literally one time I was like, should I wear these sandals or these like flats or something? And he's like, well, are your toenails painted? And I go, yeah, they are. And he you goes, then do sounds, <laughs> dude, that <is> oh. <laughs> But it's true. You did do that. That's funny. Like, yeah. So, so you uh, stop. You can't even. That's not true. I mean, look, there's a difference between kind of a pedicure and then sometimes what you got going on babe my feet are (laughs) cute no matter what they are cute yeah but you know so is my bush (laughs) okay well we have agreed to disagree (laughs) it's gonna remind me of my pubes that's why i wear it that's why it's gray yeah (laughs) all right (laughs) all right we're done with that section Real smooth. All right. Uh, voicemails. What do we got, Mel? And don't laugh. Please. Hi, Brenna and Andrew. I have a story about being turned off by a man, which happens all the time. But nonetheless, last year I met a man on Hinge and he, you know, we went out on a date, had a few drinks. We came back to my place and we tried to do the deed, um, but 
he couldn't get hard in the slightest. Um, so after a little bit of trying, we both were just like, it's not happening. But after we agreed that it wasn't happening, this man went and got his phone and texted his friends saying that he just had sex for the first time in eight years. And I was so appalled because that man barely put a penis in me and he went and claimed to his friends that he he got with me and that he had sex when like I didn't enjoy any of it. Um, so that was the turnoff. And of course, I didn't talk to him again. Love you guys. Love the pod. Oh, that is great. It's just like a, such a specific turn off. But... <laughs> wow. A guy bragging about having sex is weird. Especially to his boys. Yeah. After eight, eight years. Eight years. And then not getting hard and then claiming it's a win. That means he hasn't come close to pussy in eight years. No way. No way. Wow. But hey, bro. Been there. <laughs> <laughs> been there, done that, brother. How's the longest? What's the longest you've gone without having sex? Dude, the first time I ever had sex, I lost my virginity. I couldn't get hard. I get it. Yeah. I told all my boys, though. I'm, <laughs> yeah. Your boy's not a virgin no more. Yeah. We, technically, if it goes in, that's <laughs> sex. Yeah, dude. I don't know what this girl's problem is. Like, do you think if. Never mind. I'm, I'm no, she's it. definitely like, I would be pissed, too. I wouldn't, you know, and she was like kind of cool about him. It wasn't a, like the turnoff wasn't that he had a soft dick, which would be most people's turnoff. There's nothing worse than men. It's like, come on, what's why can't you get hard? It's like you just, smack it. <laughs> How, what's the longest you've gone like, without have having you gone years? sex? Yeah, have you gone years? Yeah. After having sex, like mm-hmm. as an adult, yeah. Um, I've probably gone like a year and a half or two years. Yeah, I've probably gone about a year. Or but then so. I jerked off and uh, got kind of hard, and I texted all my boys. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, kind of hard though. Yeah, dude, your boy fucked. The dude. the cum dribbled out, and you were like, "Guys, <laughs> it <laughs> happened." Yeah, dude, I fucked. Well, who did you fuck? Uh, dude, it's like you don't know her, dude. She's like, she's cool. Uh, yeah, I've gone like maybe two years. I think yeah, some somewhere close to that. I don't think two, but something like that. At what ages? Actually, no. I definitely went more than t- more. Th- I definitely went to like two years or so. Really? Yeah. At what age? The first time I had sex. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and then I waited for a few more years. Because <laughs> that's a different no. Kind but of then story, also but... when I was um, I don't know. Actually, I don't think I've always been banging. <laughs> <laughs> a little horn ball. Yeah, honestly. I know. I gotta get hornier. I'm trying. I just wrote a bit about our age gap and how you're hornier than me. And I am I wish I was horny. It's so funny to wish to be horny. Like, you can do things about that. Yeah. You, you can eat foods that make you <laughs> horny. And, like... You could eat pussy. You could, you, yeah. could, you could get your hormones checked. Yeah. You can, you can take pills that, like, help you get horny. Not like Viagra, but... I know, but I have, like, Medicaid, so I don't even know. What? <laughs> All right. You go to a doctor, and next thing you know, you're like, "Well, why, why, why am I not horny?" They're like, "Well, we'll put you on this medicine, this medicine. You come see me every three months. We check in. Next thing you know, I'm spending eight grand to just say that I'm a loser, or to try to not be a loser, you know, or try to be less horny. I don't know. I'll just, I'm working on it. No, you're not. (laughs) (laughs) I'm reading TikToks about it. But yeah, that girl is cool. I think she should find. I think she should have. I wonder if she's had sex with him again. A couple follow ups, and if she ever saw him out or her friends and told her friends what or told the guy's friends what happened. Yeah, oh, that would be the best. I love embarrassing guys. (laughs) I know. (laughs) Hey y'all, hope you're well. Uh, So. I've been off the market for a while and thus deleted the app some time ago. But when I was still on them, by far my biggest turnoff was any indication someone was a burner. And by that, I obviously mean a fan of Burning Man. So if I saw photos from the festival, if I saw any of the ass clown accoutrement, like the fur hats or the goggles or the Mad Max utility kilts, these homeless hating crypto douchebags sport while feeling edgy because they swap girlfriends in a desert porta potty on ayahuasca in an ecological nightmare hard out biggest boner killer i can think of 
And frankly, if you're a person who can get past that and tolerate a conversation with one of those skid marks, I'm deeply suspicious that you're even trustworthy. Uh, frankly, if you didn't get rock hard at the footage of those dorks trapped in the Firefest shit show that resulted when the roads washed out and stranded everyone at Burning Man last year, I, I suspect you might already be dead inside. <laughs> Dude, this guy. Wow, that was. He should write a book. That was so detailed. This guy should take my job. <laughs> He's so good. He's so eloquent. It sounds like I was. It was felt like I was reading a novel. I wonder if he wrote it down and read it. I feel like he had to have. Yeah. It felt like a. Which um, I like. I like somebody who comes prepared. <laughs> All right. I like how he called people skin marks. Yeah. Oh, dude, he had so much that's language. A, that's an original burn right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what did you think about like? Wait, is he gay man? Was that what it was from? Burning Man? No, no. Was this guy? Is he gay? Yeah. He didn't say anything. No, I think no. He was mad at the, but he said it was a boner killer. The guys being that way. I think that like way. girls posting on Hinge, like I went to Burning Man. Oh, with yeah. those guys. Yeah. Excuse me. Sorry. Sorry. So. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm somebody with him, who's like by a the festival way. festival person, like, not, no. Oh, if it's your whole identity? It's the same kind of people that go to that billionaire Indian party and they're like, yeah, they, like they make it, it's like anything outside yourself which makes it your personality kind of annoys me. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, that, you know those people, they're not really enjoying it. You know what I mean? That's the other thing, like. Yeah, but they're the just best. like taking drugs and it's like, it's just like a, like a party, like a person who's like a partier at the end of the day. Where their outfits, they got their whole outfit, like it's oh, all about the outfit. The planning the outfit. It doesn't matter who's playing, what music's playing. They're not a fan. They're a fan of themselves and the likes they're going to get on Instagram. The photos. It's just like, it, it just really um, amplifies what like society is right now. Where it's all just like like base, and that's why you're going to Bernie. Like Bernie Man used to be cool when it was like. Because are you having fun really being dirty in the woods for days? It's not sleeping? like it's a music festival. Yeah, like yeah, but back in the day, I, I think it was cool because you were getting off the grid. Like the whole idea of Burning Man is like, um, I'm doing something in the desert. No one's around. This is our thing. This is my memory. Let's get as fucking freaky as we want. And now when you start throwing cell phones in the mix and you're taking photos and you're showing everyone you're there, it's the exact opposite of what it started for. But yeah, that guy can speak though. He he talks like he's, um, what's the dude that uh, killed himself? Uh, Jeffrey Epstein? <laughs> <laughs> no, the writer. Um. Uh, he fucking, god damn. Um, damn it. I, I'm not going to get it from no, you okay, girls, okay. actually. <laughs> wait, wait. Yeah, I like, kind of want you guys to keep guessing. Um, <laughs> He's a guy that killed himself. He was how, a writer. How recently? Van Gogh. No. Huh? Van Gogh. How recently? Van Gogh? I don't think Van Gogh killed himself, did he? I pro I, he ripped his ear off. <laughs> That's oh a start. Oh, just well, suicidal. Um, was, was it recent? No, Gonzo. He wrote Gonzo. Dude, I don't even style. know what Gonzo is. I'll get it right now. Watch. Gonzo writing. Gonzo journalism. Uh killed himself. <laughs> OMG. Um Hunter S. Thompson. <laughs> Alright, thank you. <laughs> if you need any help, I was call on the, the suicide my number that I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, but no, I really like that guy. I I, I want to hear him talk more shit. It's so it's so amazing what language can do when you can when you know more words. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh my god, yeah, that'll never be me. <laughs> I was just gonna say literally and like for the rest of my life. <laughs> he was so succinct. Succinct. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe we talk for Concise. a living. Kind of. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, skincare tip. Oh. I'm just um, so. <laughs> Brenna, Brenna, right before we started, said, I don't have a skincare tip ready. <laughs> so this is off the dome. This is straight no, from the dome. No. So 
Wait. Okay. So people. Okay. Actually, no. I do want to talk about something. First of all, don't. If you are acne prone, please stop putting Vaseline on your face every night. It's not helping you. It's giving you texture. If you're acne prone, it means that your skin is not shedding the dead skin cells fast enough. So things are getting trapped underneath. And Aquaphor is just keeping it. For, it's just pressing it further into your skin. It's preventing it even more from happening. So if you want to slug, you should slug with something water-based. Um, <laughs> or you should like just use a non-comedogenic oil on top of your moisturizer at night. So that's it. Dude, you spoke with big words similar to that guy you can do it uh, yeah in one subject that's it <laughs> that guy's his whole subject's burning man yeah that's true. all he talks about that's true no, okay like, yeah okay yeah all right bye guys oh uh, later y'all keep listening on the patreon oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. <shit>. um <laughs> we're gonna go over to the patreon <laughs> Keep talking. We're gonna talk We're more gonna shit about Melanie. We're gonna talk some shit about each other. I think about this move. Yeah, maybe. Check out our Patreon, The Puddles Podcast. All right. Okay, bye guys. Later, y'all. Everybody now, puddles, puddles. Everybody get up because you get down, and then everyone will come over here.